In 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verses 14 through 21, it says, For Christ's love compels us, because we are convicted that one died for all, and therefore all died. And he died for all, that those who live should no longer live for themselves, but for him who died for them and was raised again. So from now on, we regard no one from a worldly point of view, through we regarded Christ in this way. We do so no longer. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come. The old has gone. The new is here. All this from God, who reconciled us to himself through Christ, gave us the ministry of reconciliation, that God was reconciling the world to himself in Christ, not counting people's sins against them. And he has committed to us the message of reconciliation. We are therefore Christ's ambassadors, as through God we're making his appeal through us. We implore you on Christ's behalf, be reconciled to God. God made him who has no sin to be sin for us, so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. Think about that for a moment. The love of Jesus is not just a warm feeling. It's an active force in our lives. It propels us to live beyond ourselves, to seek out those who are lost or hurting. In our daily lives, how can we allow Christ's love to compel us? It might mean reaching out to someone in need or simply showing kindness to a stranger. Let his love drive your actions today and every day. Now as the relentless shepherd, Jesus has reconciled us to God, taking on our sins and offering us grace. This gift changes our identity. No longer defined by our past, we are now ambassadors for Christ. Ask yourself this, who in your life needs to hear the message of reconciliation? Maybe it's a friend, a family member, or even a coworker. As his ambassadors, we are called to share this incredible news. Now remember that his love compels us to action. We're not passive obser observers. We're active participants in his mission. Embrace the identity of being an ambassador of Christ and let the shape how you interact with the world. Trust in the relentless pursuit of Jesus, knowing that he is always at work in us and through us. May his love guide you every step of the way today and every day. Have a great weekend.